Namaste friends. Today's pose is an advanced backbend, Urdhva Dhanurasana, also known as wheel pose. Like I said, it is advanced, it's not for everybody. It does take a lot of flexibility in the lower back and a lot of strength in the core. So if you're feeling up to it, give it a, give it a try. I wanted to incorporate it for those of you who do want to, to try it, adding it into your practice. So we'll start on the mat, seated on the bum, and then roll down all the way onto your back. Bring your heels in towards your body, toes facing directly away from you. Squeeze the inner thighs together. And the modification for beginners for wheel pose is just bridge. So we learned this before, but we'll go through it again here. Press your elbows into the mat, press through the feet, engage the quads, lengthen the tailbone towards the heels, and then lift the hips up to the sky, chin to chest. Squeeze the thighs together. And this is the beginner modification for wheel. And if we want to go a little further and go into wheel, take your hands by your ears Fingers pointing back towards your feet. Squeeze the elbows in together. Walk your feet in towards your body. Engage the core. And then press up onto the top of your head first. So gently rest on top of your head. Check your alignment. Squeeze the elbows in together. Squeeze the shoulders down the back. Engage the core. And then press up. Lifting the hips as high as, the, as you can. Check that your feet have not slayed out. They're still pressing forward. The thighs are squeezing together. You can imagine you have a block. And gently tuck the chin so that your ears are in between your biceps. Come back down onto your head slowly. And then onto your back. Knees together, heels apart. Take a moment here. To relax, to feel into the back, see how that felt for you. Perhaps it was difficult. I have not had a lot of back bends in my practice lately, so I'm a little bit tight. Um, and maybe I don't look like what you would look like on Instagram, but that's not the point. The point is feeling it in your own body, and I want to offer these things, these poses for people who have different bodies than mine. Um, I might have difficulty in something and you might thrive at it. So I want to at least offer the option of these poses that are maybe not my strongest suit for those of you who feel more comfortable doing them in your body. So let's try one more time. Squeeze the thighs together, press the toes away from you, bring your hands in towards your ears, fingers pointing back, squeeze the elbows in, Lift onto the crown of the head first, realign, make sure that your toes are pointing out, core is engaged, lengthen the tailbone away from you so you're not crunching in the lower back, and then press up into cobra pose. Not cobra, <laughs> wheel pose. Straighten the arms if you can, straighten the legs if you can. You can also bend the knees and come onto your tippy toes to lift the hips higher. I find this a lot more comfortable, actually, than the previous variation we were just in. You can straighten the legs if you're very flexible and yearn your heart forward. Now gently come down, roll onto your back, lift the heels, and then bring your knees together, heels apart, to relax once more on your back. Take a deep breath here, in and out. And then bring your knees into your chest one at a time. And gently sway left and right. Just to re-neutralize the spine. And as you're ready, come to roll on to your right side and use your left hand to gently press yourself back up to a seat. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have any further questions, feel free to comment below, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Namaste.